Hey everyone, America's given us baseball, jazz, and just as importantly, and depressingly, a modern culture in which top lawyers are treated like Babe Ruth and Louis Armstrong rolled into one. And this past week saw more legal drama from across the pond than a whole series of Perry Mason as the investigation into the 2016 election cranked up yet another notch. Paul Manafort, the president's campaign chairman, was found guilty in eight counts, consisting of tax fraud, bank fraud, hiding foreign bank accounts, and he now faces 240 years in jail. It's a long time, though if he uses some sort of magic sorcery to somehow remain alive, then all that money he's hidden overseas will no doubt have accrued enough interest for him to return more powerful than ever, no doubt to help participate in an election where one of the candidates is, of course, Hillary Clinton's brain in a glass jar, trying for just one last shot at the Oval Office before she's put out to pasture. Joining him in prison will most likely be Michael Cohen, Mr Trump's personal lawyer, who pleaded guilty on Tuesday to eight criminal charges, including tax evasion, bank fraud again, uh, campaign finance violations, as well as possibly, worst of all, having turned Stormy Daniels into a media celebrity, like a somehow more down-market American version of Katie Price. I was about to reference one of the Kardashians there, which should have been a bit ironic, really, because the Kardashians' father was actually the lawyer who defended O.J. Simpson in the trial of the last century. Anyway, he's hoping for a lenient sentencing for being cooperative, so he might get 60 years, might be three years. It's the same sort of thing they tell you when it's a bad phone contract. You just you have to wait and see, really, I guess. Other faces now showing up in the news include David Pecker, head of the company that publishes the Trump favourite National Enquirer, as well as Alan Weaselberg, the Trump Organization's finance boss. Both of these chaps are granted immunity from prosecution in exchange for cooperating with Robert Mueller's office. Um, I say Robert Mueller's office, I'm guessing it's probably the part of the office where Robert Mueller himself is sitting. Um, sitting, I'm guessing, and wondering to himself where all the Russian hackers are and why it's all just financial crimes he's uncovering. You know, if it is a witch hunt, then I guess it's one in which all the witches get burnt at the stake for not paying capital gains tax after turning the lead into gold. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.